The Moonlight application allows you to play your PC games on almost any device, including the Steam Deck. The way it does this is by simply mirroring your PC, the host, to the remote device. It works in the same way as the Nvidia Shield, and that is no coincidence because under the hood, Moonlight is simply leveraging the same Nvidia game streaming service used by the Nvidia Shield. The reason for this video is that Nvidia recently dropped the huge bombshell that they will be ending the game's streaming service. Most likely because they want to steer people towards their cloud service. As a result, this will impact Moonlight and the Moonlight developers have already posted an FAQ over on their GitHub page explaining what the implications will be. It's likely that the game streaming functionality will still be present in GeForce Experience for a short while, but it's not guaranteed, and Nvidia may very well push mandatory updates in the near future, effectively killing Moonlight. Now you could of course block updates to the application or use older driver versions, but there is another way, and particularly this is useful for people who don't actually own Nvidia graphics cards and that solution is Sunshine. So in this video, I want to talk to you about Sunshine and how to get it set up with Moonlight. If that sounds good to you, then stick around. I'm Chris the Steam Deck Guy, let's get on with it. So what is Sunshine? Well, in short, Sunshine is a self-hosted game streaming service, similar to Nvidia game streaming, but it also supports AMD, Intel, and Nvidia GPUs. So let's walk you through installing Sunshine on your PC. We first need to download the Sunshine application and there is a link in the description. On the GitHub page, over on the right, you'll see the latest version listed. So this may be different for you, but the process is exactly the same. So we'll click the release here and then this will take you to the list of assets that are available. For the purposes of this video, we'll be running Sunshine on a Windows PC, so I'll be downloading the Windows executable. It's not a large file, so it won't take too long. We then just need to double click the application to run the installation process. And you may get prompts to run as an administrator, or you may get WinDefender prompts. So just confirm those prompts. There's nothing malicious about the application, and then click next to go through the installation process. I suggest leaving everything as default but if you do want to change the installation destination folder then of course you can change that here. During installation it will open up the browser with the Sunshine documentation so I'd highly recommend bookmarking this for future reference particularly if you are faced with any issues but for now we can close that down. You'll then be prompted to download and install VIGE MBUS, which is required for gamepad support to work. So of course we need that on our Steam Deck, so click yes, and then you'll be taken to the website where you can download that program. I already have it downloaded, so I'll just double click here to install and then follow the process. Once that is complete, we are now done with the installation of Sunshine, and we can now start configuring the settings. In the Windows Start menu, we'll find Sunshine Foreground Mode, and then we'll click to start the service. This will actually load in a terminal window. Once it has done its thing, you'll see that it mentions to open the website to set your username and password. So what we need to do is to grab the URL and navigate to that address in your browser. Now, you will likely get warnings from your antivirus, but this is normal and you can allow the connection, don't be worried. The first time you launch into Sunshine, you'll be prompted to set a username and password. Make sure you do remember this. Once set, the page will refresh and you'll need to enter the login details, but then you'll be taken to the Sunshine home screen. So along the top, we have our menu. Applications is where we set which applications we want to appear in Moonlight. Unfortunately, this is a manual process but you do have some defaults already configured, which is for desktop and also Steam Big Picture. But if you want to have individual games show up in Moonlight with some nice artwork, then this is where you would configure those settings. But it's super easy and I'll cover that shortly. We also have the configuration page, which is where you can configure the advanced settings. For example, if you want to specify the use of a particular codec, or maybe you have multiple sound cards or graphics cards, you can specify here which one you want to use. But for me, keeping everything as default, this just works straight out of the box. So I haven't needed to change any of these settings and it's been working pretty well. 
So let's jump over to the Steam Deck and show you how to set up Moonlight and how to get it paired with Sunshine. If you already have Moonlight installed, then you can skip ahead. But for complete beginners, I'll now show you how to download Moonlight and complete the basic setup. So over on your Steam Deck, we need to go to the desktop mode and we do this by opening the menu, selecting power and then selecting desktop mode. After a short while, it will load into the desktop. Once we are in desktop mode, open the Discover Store from the taskbar and then use the search box at the top left to search for Moonlight. Then click install and wait for it to do its thing. Once completed, we can close down the Discover Store. Because we want to launch Moonlight from the gaming mode, we now need to add the application to Steam. To do this, open Steam and then in the lower left, click the plus button and then select add a non-Steam game from the list. We then just need to find the Moonlight application and then click add. Once that's done, we can close Steam and go back to gaming mode. We should then see Moonlight listed under non-Steam games within our library. If you want to know how to get nice artwork as I have here, then check out my plugins video. So let's launch Moonlight and I'll show you some of the basic settings. So if you click the cog, the settings cog over on the right, that will take you to the settings page. Now, if you are using a 16 by nine ratio monitor, then you'll want to set the resolution to 720p. Otherwise, if you do select 800p, which is the Steam Deck native resolution, you will get black borders on the sides due to the mismatch in screen ratio. You'll want to set the highest bit rate that your Wi-Fi can handle. 45 megabytes per second seems to work for me, but you'll want to play around with this setting to find the right balance between latency and image quality. I like to have frame pacing and vSync enabled, and then under UI, you'll want to select full screen so that the Moonlight application is displayed correctly and full screen on the Steam Deck. If we back out of settings, then after a short while, you should see your computer listed with a padlock symbol. If you then click into this, you will be prompted for a pin. This is where we need to go back to the Sunshine application and we select in the top left, pin. We can then input the pin that's displayed on our Steam Deck into Sunshine and click OK. And then after a short while, you should then be able to select the PC on your Steam Deck and see all of the available applications. We can now test that it's working correctly by selecting desktop and then waiting for it to connect. To quit back to Moonlight, you simply hold the select start R1 an L1 button simultaneously, and then you'll be taken back to the Moonlight application. At this point, you could just launch all of your games via the desktop, but if you want to have games show up individually with artwork, then let me show you how to do that. Within Sunshine, we need to navigate to the applications menu from the top. And then to add a new game or application, we click add new. Application name is self-explanatory. You can give this whatever name you like. So for this example, I'm using Hi-Fi Rush. We then have two options, detached commands and commands. The easiest way I found to set this up for Game Pass is to go into your Xbox application, find the game, go to more options, and then click the option to create a desktop shortcut. I then like to put all of my shortcuts into a folder on my C drive. You can then navigate to the folder to get the full path. What I found is because I'm using shortcuts, Sunshine doesn't actually launch the application. A way around this is to add additional commands to load up the command prompt and execute the link from there. So as you can see, I've added some additional commands which will open the command line and then execute the link or launch the link. The slash C means that it will close down the command line once it has actually completed. And this is a workaround. We can then add a cover and it's nicely integrated, so it will actually pull the cover in for you. And I'll just show you another example. So High on Life, so we'll give it a name, High on Life. In the detached commands, I'm adding the command line. And then in my quotes, I'm just going to grab the link to the desktop shortcut. And then search for my cover art and then click save. And there you go. I now have desktop, Steam Big Picture, High Fro Rush and High on Life. So that's it for this video guys, if you're interested in plugins then check out my other videos, see you soon.